had a good time at the Black Cat. And I think it's sad that um, this is even a story. Um, the fact is, um, there was something that was really um, monumental that occurred. And that is Tony, 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 the original members, the brothers, Raphael Sadiq and Dwayne Wiggins, who have not performed in public for, I believe, at least over 20 years. They are just really um, some of the most incredible artists in the history of this country and the Bay Area in particular. And the fact that that is getting lost here is very unfortunate. Not to mention the incredible trumpeter, Maurice Mo Mobetta Brown, who is just phenomenal. These incredible musicians who performed and who really uplifted the spirits of not just myself, but all of the people who were there. And from my perspective, you know, I was there, I was eating and I was drinking and I was sitting with my friends and everyone who came in there was vaccinated. So the fact that we have turned this into a story about being maskless, no, I'm not gonna sip and put my mask on, sip and put my mask on, sip and put my mask on, eat and put my mask on. While I'm eating and I'm drinking, I'm gonna keep my mask off. And yes, in the end time, while we're drinking, like everyone else there, we were all having a good time. And again, all vaccinated. So the fact that this is even a story is sad. And it's sad because we're missing out on the fact that we have live performances. We in San Francisco have done an incredible job around COVID. Yes, we have challenges, but this is now a distraction. And I would hope that people would spend more time on enjoying San Francisco, of going to go see Maurice Mulbetta Brown, who's only gonna be here for another week at the Black Cat, and make the stories about how incredible and talented these artists are and less about something that shouldn't even be a story in the first place. So speaking of like live music returning, um, I guess there was also Metallica returning for a show at the Independent last night. Did you hear about that? Yes, and I saw the lines and I was, I mean, the Independent is a, just think about it. You have these venues that are considered small for Metallica. So I, when I saw Metallica up there, I'm like, well, maybe it's a throwback. Maybe they're just, bringing you back from a time when Metallica might have or when they wish Metallica would have played at the Independent. No, they were at the Independent and the line was down the block. And when you enter these venues, people are going to drink. People have to be vaccinated. And so it doesn't mean that like, you know, like sip and drink, that, that is just not realistic. And when you go to restaurants, I was at a restaurant, same thing. I'm leaving my mask down while I'm enjoying my food. I'm not putting it on and taking it off, putting it on. People are not doing that. So that's just not realistic. You all know it's not realistic. So the fact that this story became about me and less about the artist and nightlife, which I will continue to enjoy in San Francisco, is very unfortunate. So is this sort of the sign of the reopening, right? That we're seeing these shows now and we can see people go in and have a good time. Is that I, I think it is. I, I, the message I want to get out is support our nightlife venues. Support our restaurants. Go out and enjoy yourself. Make sure you are vaccinated because of the requirements. But don't feel as though you have to be micromanaged about mask wearing. Like, we don't need the fun police to come in and try and micromanage and tell us what we should or shouldn't be doing. We know what we need to do to protect them, ourselves. No one has been more conservative about protecting themselves than I have, not just because I want to set an example, but because I don't want to get COVID. And I know many people feel the same way. So let's focus on what's most important. That is getting reopened, supporting our nightlife, enjoying our great city, getting back to the normal we once enjoyed and having a good time. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question? And it's just this specific paragraph I was asked to ask you about. It says, this is in, in a published report, it says that a video, again, this is nitpicky, but it is what it is. Uh, a video shows a massless breed neither seated at a table nor positioned at a stationary counter, standing 
and dancing without any food or drinks in her hand. She also posed for photos while not wearing a mask. Okay, so just to be clear, um, um, I was sitting at my table and when, I don't know about you and whether or not you know who Raphael Sadiq and Dwayne Wiggins are, but I don't know about you, but if you know who they are, I don't care where you're sitting, you're gonna get up and start dancing. My drink was sitting at the table. I got up and started dancing because I was feeling the spirit. And I wasn't thinking about a mask. I was thinking about having a good time. And in the process, I was following the health orders. Not to mention the Chronicle reporter who walked up to me had no mask in sight. When I took a picture, as I do in any case or do an interview, yes, I take my mask off when I want to take a picture. I don't need to, I'm vaccinated. I don't need to wear a mask and take a picture every single time. I don't want to. But at the same time, I'm being careful to not only protect myself and to protect other people. This is nitpicking. This is really unfortunate. And let me tell you, when the spirit moves you because you are watching history in the making, Bay Area royalty perform, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to turn around and look for where my mask is or look to see and make sure I'm picking up a drink. I'm just going to let the spirit move.